Much quieter on the radar map uh, this afternoon. Still stormy in spots, and we kind of expected that. One area up in the central mountains, you can see it on the map. It says brushing into or pushing into southwestern Montana, just north of Manita Pass. There's the storm that gave a little bit of rain. A thunderstorm over the Island Park area now impacting a northern quarter of Yellowstone National Park. For the rest of us, we're dry, and I think we're going to stay that way, at least for part of the weekend. As this moisture gets pushed, instability gets pushed a little farther towards the east and stay farther south. Definitely a stormy one, though, if you're headed to Nevada. Be careful, that will spread into northern Utah later this evening. But for the rest of us, we'll just deal with those isolated mountain showers and thunderstorms for the next day or two. We had a partly cloudy sky tonight. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler than they were last night. Pocatello, we stayed in the upper 60s last night. Tonight, we'll be in the lower end of that range. Idle Falls will have a low temperature of 52. Lower 50s also expected in St. Anthony. There are those isolated showers and thunderstorms this evening for the Central Mountains. Low temperatures, once we uh, clear up, will drop all the way down to 40 in Stanley. Stayed a bit warmer than that in Salmon at 54. Isolated showers and thunderstorms for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Most of the activity certainly north of Jackson up in Yellowstone. I think things will start to settle down a little bit. Island Park, I wouldn't rule out though that storm that's over southern uh, Lemhi County could follow the divide and clip you Island Park later this evening. So there's still a chance of some more storminess before the evening's all said and done. Partly cloudy for the southeast highlands, low temperatures in the 50s. Warmer than usual for this time of year. Lava Hot Springs here at 56. One degree warmer than that in Preston. Then tomorrow, just a gorgeous start to the weekend. Temperatures, though, maybe a little hotter than they were today due to that extra sunshine. 94 expected in Preston. Downey also at 94. We got lots of sunshine and storm free weather for the Upper Highlands, Western Wyoming. High temperatures, upper 70s to the lower 90s. Dubois at 91 for the Central Mountains. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Stanley will warm up to 88, so temperatures working their way back up. We'll be in the mid-90s in Chalice and in Salmon. We'll be in the mid-90s in the upper Snake River Plain. In Pocatello, 98. Today, 90. So definitely hotter than it was uh, out there this afternoon. So just brace yourself. And we're going to keep the hotter around it through the entire weekend. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast Sunday. That chance of showers and thunderstorms, that would be late afternoon into the evening. And then things start to temper down or moderate a little bit as far as temperatures are concerned. We'll be in the high mid-90s. Uh, highs in the mid-90s Monday through Friday with lows ranging from the upper 50s to the mid-60s. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast for the Teton area. we got a dry day tomorrow, but there is a chance of storminess Sunday and Monday. Still very warm. Highs in the 80s all the way through next Friday. For the Central Mountains, that's Salmon, uh, Chalice, and Mackey. Dry tomorrow. Chance of storminess uh, on Tuesday, or should, should say Sunday, and then temperatures backing off just a bit on Monday. And then we're back in the 90s all the way through Tuesday and Friday.